Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about collections. A collection allows users to share assets, workflows, apps, macros and insights with other gallery users who are not part of the same subscription, which means studio. You have to have permission to create a collection. To verify you have permission to create a collection, select your username right here and select my profile so in the permission section in the permission section which is that you need to check that you are able to create collections by checking this option here create new collections once you have this permission enabled let's go to collections and to create a new collection we need just to click in add new collection right here In that field, we need to put a collection name. Let's call that collection one. Now I click on add and my collection is created. Now let's see how to add a user or group to a collection. The collection owner has to give you permission to add a user. Go to the Users tab of the collection to confirm you have permission to add users. Let's click on the collection name. And here we have the Users tab. In this case, I am the owner of this collection, so I already have this permission. Note that curators which means gallery admins who have been added to the collection always have access to add and remove users and groups from collections. And to add a user for this collection, we just need to click right here in add user button. And now we can choose and search a user from a list Let's put Pedro Faria here. And if you want to select an expiration date to assign to this user, you just need to check this box here and select your specific date. Or if you don't want to do that, just leave this box unchecked. And now you have to set these permissions. Let's understand what are those permissions? Admin, select yes to set all the permissions to yes. Add assets, select yes to allow the user or group to add assets to the collection. Remove assets, select yes to allow the user or group to remove assets from the collection. Update Assets Select Yes to allow the user or group to open the asset in Designer, make changes and save it back to the collection. Add Users Select Yes to allow the user or group to add users to the collection. And then Remove Users Select Yes to allow the user or group to remove users from the collection. And after you choose 
the permissions you just need to click on add button and now we can see Pedro, For Pedro Faria listed on the users tab in my collection one to add a group it's pretty much the same process just by clicking here on user groups add group button and here you can choose a group set the expiration date if you want and the permissions and then click on add button and you can see the group right here also you can change the permissions anytime you want you just need to access the user or group in the collection and then click on the pencil icon right here and then set the permissions and after that click on save note it's important that you can't add a curator's collection permissions and to remove a user or group from a collection you just need to access the user or group in the collection and then click on the trash icon which is this one right here so once you click this window pops up to confirm that you want to remove this object let's click on remove and the group has been removed from collection and now let's see how to add work close to a collection for each collection you are a member of you have to have the add assets permission to add workflows apps and insights if you don't see the add workflow button in the collection review your collection permissions on the users tab of the collection if you don't have the add assets permission contact your gallery administrator or a collections users that has admin permissions note curators which means gallery admins who have been added to the collection always have access to add assets to collections now follow these steps to add workflows and apps to a collection in the gallery interface select collections Select the collection where you want to add workflows. On the workflow tab, select add workflow. Is this button right here. You can also add apps and macros via the add workflow button. In the workflow search bar, Enter the workflow name and select the workflow when it appears on the list. And now this workflow is associated in this collection. And to remove a workflow from a collection, select the trash icon in the actions column right here. And to increase the visibility, collection members with necessary permissions can share their schedules and job results of those schedules with a collection and its users. To share a schedule, follow these steps. First, select Collections menu and then go to your collection and then click on the e-schedules tab right here and then select select the button add schedule search for the schedule you want to share and select and then just click on add the schedule displays if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.